This is Pastor Wolfmuller for a deep dive, three minute parable video into the parable of the sower. Let's take a look. Set up though, Martin Luther in the large, no, small catechism talks about the three enemies of the Christian faith. For example, the third petition, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that God's will is an opposed will, the good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer. We pray in this petition it may be done among us also. How is it done? God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, our flesh, which do not want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom come, and when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die, this is his good and gracious will. Or later in the sixth petition, lead us not into temptation. What does this mean? God tempts no one. We pray in this petition that God would guard and keep us so that the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, our flesh, may not deceive us or mislead us into false belief, despair, and other great shame and vice. Now, these are the three enemies of the Christian, the devil, the world, and the sinful nature. But where does Luther get that? In Matthew 13, Jesus tells the parable of the sower. And the sower goes out to sow the seed. And we remember that some of the seed falls among the path and the birds of the air come and snatch it away. The second of the seed falls amongst the stones. And even though it grows up quickly, the sun comes out and scorches it and it's destroyed. And then some of the seed falls among the thorns, the weeds, and it grows up, but then it's choked out by the weeds. And Jesus goes on to explain this parable. What does this parable mean? The birds, says Jesus, are like the devil who comes along and snatches the word before it even takes root. The, the stones are like the troubles and persecutions that we have in the world that causes us distress and persecution and affliction. And the thorns are the pleasures of this life. So that Jesus identifies the three great enemies of the word of God and our faith as the devil, the world, and the flesh. The devil who fights the word of God, the world that oppresses and afflicts us, and the flesh which causes us so much trouble because we chase after these things. Now, these are the three enemies of the word of God. But then there's the seed that falls in the good soil that sprouts and grows abundantly. Now, the main thing about this is that Luther is picking up on these three enemies, which we all face. The wrong way to read the parable is to say, well, what seed am I? Am I the seed on the path or the rocks or or the thorns? No, all of us are always being afflicted by all three of these great enemies. But we pray to the Lord that he would deliver us from evil, and he does. Our Lord Jesus is kind and gracious to us, and he blesses us with his word and his kindness, and he keeps us in his kingdom. That is our hope and our confidence. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.